a new version of Godot has been released, which is a free and open source game engine that is used to make 2D and 3D games. Since its initial release in 2014, it has grown in prominence among game developers due to its simplicity, adaptability, and vibrant community. The engine offers a wide range of features, including support for different operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, and more, as well as physics simulation, animation tools, and networking capabilities. This release is the biggest and the longest in the making so far for Godot. Therefore, it brought with it some major new features and significant updates to various aspects of the engine. This includes adding toolkits for networking, music, UI design, scripting, and more improvements to the Godot Editor user experience while also extending the platform support. So let's go and check some of the new stuff about this release. Firstly, there are two new Vulkan backends which are clustered and mobile, and these made Godot rendering capabilities so advanced. But the team didn't forget about the people who have low PC specs, where they added a new renderer that is capable of OpenGL, which is aimed at supporting older and weaker devices. Another thing the team added to the version is the new real-time global illumination technique for large open worlds, which is called SDFGI. Also, the GI probe has been replaced by the Voxel GI node, a real-time solution fit for small and medium-scale environments with particularly good results for interiors. And as you might notice in Godot 3, the shadows were very bad, therefore, the team gave more attention to shadow rendering to achieve higher quality and provide more granular control. These are just a few of the newly added features, so if you want to check out everything new about this release, you should read the full documentation that you will find in the link down below. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software, game engines, and the CG industry in general. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.